Hey, I'm Paul, and welcome to another Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up an extrusion workspace. Before you start to build, there are a few things to consider. First, it's good to have a team. Having someone to share the tasks with makes the work a lot more fun. Perfect. Second, how much space do you need? It's important to make sure you have enough space to move around freely with all of your machines and tools. The space we're using here is roughly four by six meters. And third, what kind of electricity do you need? Some machines run on single phase and others on three phase, so be sure to check the specs of your machine before choosing your space. Your team's assembled and you found your space. Now it's time to build. Your extrusion workspace is only an extrusion workspace if you have the extrusion machine. So start with that. You can build one yourself or buy one on the Precious Plastic Bazaar. You've got your machine, now you need plastic. Check out the Precious Plastic map to find a shredder workspace near you. We recommend using durable containers to store your plastic. It's nice to have big ones for the colors that you use often and smaller ones for the special colors that add variety to your product. It's also nice to have a scoop nearby. Big containers are great for storing plastic, but they're not much fun to drag around the workspace. Use smaller containers to transport your plastic from the storage to the machine. You'll need a few tools while you operate the machine, so make sure you have a place to store them. A mobile station is nice for keeping your essentials handy while you operate the machine. Now it's time to melt. As the machine heats up, you might notice some fumes. There are a few ways to address this, the simplest being to be in a well-ventilated space with open windows and doors. You can also use a filter mask, and a filter caddy is a good way to extract fumes at the source. Check out the Precious Plastic Safety video to learn more about this topic. So, you're melting plastic. Now it's time to turn the plastic into something useful. One of the best ways to shape plastic is by using a mold. This mold's gonna make a beam, but depending on your mold, you can make almost anything. Molds can be pretty heavy, so it's good to have a sturdy surface to support them while you extrude. Ideally one that's adjustable to fit different molds. Your mold's filled, now it's time to remove it from the machine. As you wait for your beam to cool, attach a new mold to fill and continue producing. You might notice some plastic backing out of the mold when you remove the mold from the machine. This is a result of pressure that's built up in the mold while filling. A good way to stop this is by dunking the nozzle in a bucket of water for a few seconds. Some excess plastic may spill out of the machine while you're swapping molds, so it's good to keep the bucket of water underneath the nozzle of the extruder to capture anything that falls. Cooling the excess plastic right away helps prevent fumes and keeps the pieces small and shreddable so that they can be recycled again. Your beam's out of the mold, now it's time to check and make sure it's ready to sell. It's nice to have a sturdy workbench where you can examine your products and take care of any post-processing that needs to be done. While we like to avoid them as much as possible, offcuts are an inevitable byproduct of the production process. So keep a container nearby to collect them so that they can be recycled again. Your beam's ready, now place it on your storage shelf for visitors to see. Here's some things you can make in this workspace. A bench, bricks, clear beams, and skateboards. When you're done using your molds for the day, these adjustable racks make it nice and easy to store them. Last but not least, it's time to put some finishing touches on the workspace. We've made some posters that you can hang on your wall, and plants always make the place feel more welcoming. 
You can find all the information you need to get started in the download kit. Watch the next video to see how this workspace fits in the precious plastic universe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next precious plastic video. Oh, and before you go, we just wanted to let you know that Precious Plastic runs on funding and support of people just like you. Everything we do, we share open source online for free so that people all over the world can start tackling the plastic waste problem. So if you're able and willing to support us, please visit support.preciousplastic.com and you can make a donation or find another way how you can contribute. Thank you very much.